John, thank you. The number of confirmed cases of coronavirus in the U.S. is growing exponentially. There are now more than 9,400 confirmed cases and at least 150 deaths. John Hopkins University also reports 106 recovered patients in the U.S. Yesterday, Pennsylvania reported its first COVID-19 related death. The Commonwealth also now has more than 133 confirmed cases. Some of those new cases are in Western PA and the numbers, as we mentioned, are expected to grow. Amy Wattis is live this morning with details on the new cases and why health experts are saying you're going to see a spike in cases. Amy, why is that? Well, Heather, the reason why federal officials warn that the number of tests that are backlogged are being processed, so we're going to see those numbers go up as well as an increase in testing. So that's why here in Western Pennsylvania, there are 12 cases in Allegheny County right now, two in Beaver County, as well as two in, West, in Washington County. The state got word of its first coronavirus related death on Wednesday. An adult from Northampton County, which is in the eastern part of the state, the adult was being being treated at the hospital. Governor Tom Wolf says this death just shows how severe COVID-19 is. He says the virus has characteristics that make it difficult to control and why he's urging Pennsylvanians to stay home. Now, members of the White House task force are warning that infection numbers will soon skyrocket. It's now in a high speed platform, so we will see the number of people diagnosed dramatically increase over the next four to five days. It will be five to six days worth of tests being run in 24 to 48 hours. Meantime, President Trump indicated the administration is looking into the possibility of a self swab test and whether that's effective. On Capitol Hill, the Senate passed an emergency bill that includes free coronavirus testing. And here locally, we are seeing more of those drive through testing centers popping up, like one that we saw here that started on Monday on the north side. That's through the Central Outreach Wellness Center, as well as Quest Diagnostics. There, testing will resume again today. We're live on the north side. Amy Wattis, KDK News.